Have you ever pondered the profound question, does God exist? If so, you are not alone. This timeless inquiry was the central focus of an Italian monk, philosopher and theologian named Saint Anselm of Canterbury. He is renowned for his rational and philosophical approach to dialogues and treatises. But who was he? And why does his work still resonate today? Born in Aosta in Upper Burgundy, around the year 1033, Anselm was drawn to monastic life from a young age. His thirst for knowledge and understanding was insatiable, leading him to the Benedictine monastery at Beck in Normandy. Here Anselm's intellectual prowess began to shine, and he was eventually appointed as the abbot. Under his stewardship, the monastery blossomed into a beacon of learning in Europe. In the midst of his monastic duties, Anselm found time to delve into the philosophical questions that intrigued him. His most famous contribution is the ontological argument for the existence of God. This argument, a cornerstone of his work, Proslogion, posits that God, being the greatest conceivable being, must exist. In Anselm's words, even a fool when he hears of a being than which nothing greater can be conceived, understands what he hears, and what he understands is in his understanding, and assuredly that, than which nothing greater can be conceived, cannot exist in the understanding alone. Anselm's influence extended to England after the Norman conquest. He was appointed Archbishop of Canterbury in 1093, a role he held until 1109. During his tenure, he found himself embroiled in the investiture controversy, a power struggle between the church and secular rulers over the appointment of church officials. Anselm staunchly defended the church's interests, even if it meant being exiled twice for resisting English kings. His commitment to the church didn't stop at politics. Anselm also developed the satisfaction theory of atonement. This theory posits that humanity owed a debt to God because of sin. Jesus, being both divine and human, was the only one capable of repaying this debt through his death and resurrection. Anselm's influence on Christian thought and philosophy is undeniable. His rational approach to faith, commitment to the church's independence, and his philosophical contributions, such as the ontological argument and the satisfaction theory of atonement, continue to resonate today. In summary, St. Anselm of Canterbury was a man of deep faith and intellect. His philosophical contributions have shaped the course of Christian thought, and his ideas continue to influence contemporary discussions on God's existence and the nature of faith. His life, marked by a pursuit of understanding and a commitment to the Church, serves as a testament to the enduring power of philosophical inquiry and religious devotion.